Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today is very rainy. You gotta love the weather in this game, but... Oh, there's a vulture horde. Uh-oh. Right, well, let's try and deal with that. There, now that I've wasted all of the ammo, and gotten a bunch of feathers at least, um, we can continue with what I was saying. Today we're going to be trying to continue to get various kinds of magazines. In particular... The ones I want the most are going to be vehicles and some kind of weapon, probably shotguns. So with that in mind, I should probably get some points in Boomstick, but also I should consider leveling Grease Monkey a little bit. But the thing is, with Grease Monkey, I'm just going to find a lot more harvesting tools than I am vehicle books, because that's just how it's going to be with how the loot tables are balanced with regards to... How many points I have in minor 69er, it's just going to overpower the loot table. So maybe just, oh there's another dead vulture, maybe just hope for uh, vehicle magazines but really just try and get as many tools and associated magazines just out the table as I can. I mean it would be nice having an auger, I am on 50% block damage so like good tools are very much welcome, they're just not a top priority compared to like a good gun and a good vehicle which would do a lot for me in terms of being able to take on further away POIs and carry more loot and fight harder POIs as well. Have I got lockpicks on me? I don't. Let me go get lockpicks. Those are important because I can't just bash through things on this setting. The 50% block damage makes that pretty much impossible until I get an auger. So lockpicks are actually useful. There we go. 28 lockpicks is a good start. That means I can actually do tier 3 POIs now because I'll be able to fight the zombies with my baseball bat and I'll be able to actually unlock the end loot. So maybe we should find some tier 3s to take on. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where those will be be but I'll have a look. Hang on there's a police car here. I might get a good bit of ammo from this. Oh I've already looted that one. Well okay. I'll have a look for another police car while I'm out here though. Could definitely use more 762. This house is only a tier 2. It's huge. Hmm. There is a tool store here. Is this any good? Ah it's a tier 0. Oh I've angered a zombie inside. One moment. Yeah. Might be worth taking a look in here. There's one skill point. I think I'm going to favor shotguns over vehicles right now because the loot table is just going to be oversaturated anyway. Ah, working vending machine. Cool. Good to know. Hang on, there's a zombie over here I want to deal with as well. Oh, I'm hungry. Lovely. Didn't bring any food and that's a drinks vending machine so I'll have to keep an eye out for some. Let's clear this place out then and then I'll have a look and see if there's anything useful in here. Oh, there's a lot of materials in here I think. Seen stone and sandbags. Businessman, hello. Anyone on the roof? There's a little path here. Can I jump up it? Not without parkour, but let's try that. Ah, there's a working set of tools up here. All right, let's see what we got in here. Tools digest and two lockpicks. Cool. I can make steel tools of quality three. Might be worth doing if I can find the materials to do that, but I don't think I have the parts. Let's unlock the safe. Some nine mil and a Molotov. Weird thing to put in a safe, but okay. Knife guy, not the most helpful. Another working set of tools back here though. Another tools digest and two headlights. Those light bulbs are actually sellable for a decent amount. Anything useful back here? Is there a way into this? Oh, hello, any zombies? Another tools digest there. At this point, most working sift tools crates are going to have a tools digest for me just because of how my perks are allocated. Wiring 101, bottle of acid and some garbage, which is quite helpful because I'm not going to get any whole chemistry stations from... Oh, that's a soldier. I'm going to be a little bit more careful here. I'm not going to get any full chemistry stations from like quest rewards because I'm obviously not allowed to do quests. So keeping an eye on how much acid I have would be smart. Forge ahead and some more acid. Four steel tool parts, that's actually not bad. That's enough to make a level four steel pick if I was able to make those, obviously. It's probably pretty soon on the horizon considering how quickly my tools digest is getting leveled though. All right, I've got probably, oh, might have missed this. There we go. I've got probably all the useful stuff I'm gonna get out of that tier zero POI. Let's continue searching for something a bit more lucrative. A tier 3 working sift tools would be really useful. I don't remember if I've got one around here though. 
There's a tier 3 poppin' pills on my right. This place is tier 3 as well. Uh, a tier 3 savage country might be good as well because I think they're better for finding clubs. Because this game's weird. Well, there's a savage country. I think it's tier 3. It might even be 4. Tier 3, cool. And then there's a working set of tools next to it, which I think is also a tier 3. Oh, I missed these. Tools digest. Paper. Cool. I need some food. Hmm. Maybe go visit the trader, drop off some gear, get some food, and then come back and deal with those two POIs. Uh, what tier is the pawn shop? Three as well. I could probably do all three of these in today or maybe across these two days. I'm not sure. But let's go get some stuff. They're all going to be pretty good for various things things that I do want, so that'll be helpful. I've got seven steel tool parts total, it looks like, unless some of them are split into other places, which they might be. But that means I could make two tier threes if I wanted to, I would just need the steel. The question is, is it worth it or should I just wait for fives? And I think I should just wait for fives. I have a blueberry pie, nice. I guess I'll be making a lot of grilled meat then. That's fine. It's a useful early game food source. Can't complain too much about it. It's not great though. Right, let's head back out to those three POIs I found. Leave me alone. And then let's have a look inside here. Zombies, come fight me. Okay, how many of you am I going to have to deal with in here? Several. Ooh, one of you's feral, okay. Oh no, they just actually went through the fire, that makes sense. No one hiding in here? Is there anything up there? Hey, a weapons bag. Uh, hunting and three pipe bombs, not bad. Let's go clear out the roof as well then. Forge your head, nice. See that one dog. There we go. See what's in the end loot. Uh, pipe rifle. That kind of sucks. Tools digest and pistol peat. A first aid kit, which is nice, and an iron breaker mod. Put that on my axe there. See, we got some other containers here though. Uh, tools digest and a stone shovel and another lock pick. Some seven six two there, which is quite helpful. Another tools digest five steel. Some water. Some more water. Another uh, tool crate bag here. Tools Digest, We're up to 50 of those, that's going quite well at least. There's some more zombies to kill if I want extra XP and easier loot though. Down here. There's one over there who's not really related to this, he can just fall down and I'll deal with him later. And there's usually one or two here as well. And is there any loot here? Just the weapons bag. This used to be where the end loot was in that. And then a big hitter, let's fall down here. Where'd that one guy go? If I'm not mistaken, there's also like a weapons bag or something similar up where that one zombie was. Ah, ammo bag. Some 762 in it, nice. Right, so now I can loot this place. I should break this door down though. Uh, or I could just get into a fight with a zombie in there. Hang on, there's a zombie outside as well. Where are they? Ah, there you are. Let's use the first aid bandage. Yeah, I think I'm going to take my chances with actually fighting the zombie that's up here because it seems easier than having to break through a thousand health door with an iron pick on 50% block damage. Fall down, open the door, turn around, fight him. Got another tool crate in this room here. Uh, get hammered. It's not all that useful stuff to be honest. There are some more tool crates at the back and I do also want to loot this other stuff. Uh, I'm focusing on the tool crates right now so I don't forget any. So we've got what, three in here? Four. Tools digest, we can make steel tools of quality four. Another tools digest. Another tools digest. And scrapping and fireman's almanac. Okay. Right then, so there's still a lot of good loot to be found in here though so I am gonna get that. Cash register, some money. Mostly the loot I'm looking for is in these shelves. These steel tool parts, great. Two lock picks. Another lock pick there. Oh, repair kit, nice. Two duct tape and a lock pick in there. Another duct tape there. Two more lock picks. I'm going to be swimming in them. Two more motor tool parts. Those will be useful later on. A level one wrench. And some iron nails to finish it off. Oh, wait, I missed a shelf. Some cloth. There's some meds on top of the vending machine. Medical journal, first aid bandage, and a cast. Lockpick in the bin, apparently. 
Uh, is this... yeah, it's filled with trash, which could be useful. Money and wood. And shotgun parts, that is quite helpful too. I am over encumbered. But I got a good amount of full magazines and various useful things. And there's more resources here if I need to get them, like for example, nitrate or wood. Stuff like that. Ah, I learned an elixir in a random shopping cart. Didn't know you could get that. Let's go dump some of this stuff off at my base because I'm already full. Right, let's go check out uh, maybe the Savage Country. I could get a lot of cloth out of that, which I don't need right now, but it is a extra useful thing about Savage Countries other than just the bonus bows, spears, and club magazines. Besides, I could get some red dye, and we all know I like that. The kitters. Savage Countries are also a solid source of pocket mods. So that would be nice, got a lockpick in that trash there. Steel club parts, nice. Right, let's have a look inside. I want to fight all the zombies at once, please, I'm feeling lazy. Look back. Nine mil. There's three of you in here. Another skill point, just more shotguns, please. Anybody hiding in here? Seems like a no. Right, let's go deal with the, what I think is the final room anyway. There's one guy. Come here. We've attracted another one. Works for me. I mean, if we can just get them all to chain together. There's one hiding up there. Oh, I missed. Also drop her while I wait. Oh, there's two of you back there. While she sits like that, I'll also attract him. I think I'm clear, but let me go check the roof really quickly. No, no zombies, just a little bit of loot. Electrical traps and a reasonably expensive piece of armor I can modify and make even more expensive and sell that off to a trader for some dukes. Alright, so, end loot, what do you have? Uh, tech planet, a mod I can put on some armor to make it more expensive, for example. Look at the price of the mod, 38. Look at the price of the armor, 324. Almost doubles the value and that definitely was not the cost of the cooling mesh mod, so that's good. If we can find another one, it'll happen again. Some meds hiding here. Ooh, first aid kit. Uh, sharp sticks, ooh, big hitters, sewing kits, another big hitters, and I'm standing on another one of these. Another big hitter, see I was right about these. Some ammo. Any more hiding back here? Doesn't seem like it, let's, wait, there's this. Some clay, I can just dig clay. Medical journal and a bunch of meds. Right, so let's have a look in these back areas here. Gonna end up with a whole lot of extra cloth at least. What do you have in the gun display? Bit of ammo. Some mods and shotgun parts at least, that's useful. Let's just put the structural brace mod on my hammer, it won't do much but it means I don't have to carry it around. Some iron arrows, some shotgun shells, some more buckshot, there's also books here. Forge your head, cool. So side chest, egg hitters, we can make a baseball bag quality 4, I'll probably just wait for 5 or to make a steel club, I'm not sure. Any more bookcases or is it just clothes left? It looks to be just clothes, so I'll start gathering all this up. It takes ages to scrap, but it is worth it because you get so much cloth that you can just use for duct tape throughout the game. Suppose you could also sell these. They're like 8, 10, 50 dukes, depending on specifically what the clothing item is. But I'd rather have the cloth, to be honest. Some armor and sewing kits in that one. Alright, so I've looted all the containers in there, and as you can see, I've got a lot of cloth from this, plus a decent amount of leather there. Uh, which can be a bit of a bitch to get early on, so it'll be nice to have a nice stockpile of that. Just need to scrap the rest of these damn clothes. Takes seven seconds each, it's painful. I'm gonna cycle home because I don't want to be caught out here at night. And tomorrow we'll take on the pawn shop. And I'll probably have time for another POI. Looks like I could maybe get like two tiers these fully looted in a day. Which is funny because when it's quests and I don't bother looting, I can do like four or five of them. But when you actually bother to loot them, they do take ages. Normally I would have no incentive to actually loot things, but now I don't have quests, so what the fuck else am I supposed to do in this game? You open boxes and have one of three reactions. Gah, that's annoying. Hmm. Oh hey, that's actually the thing I was looking for. Those, that, that's this game. Open boxes and have mild reactions simulator. Let's see, can I make some bellows? Duct tape. I've got nine water in there. Right, let's make a bellows. Where'd that anvil go? Oh, there's a thousand iron there. Anvil, where did I put you? There it is. Right, so I'm gathering up all my cloth and leather just to see how much of I have now. Yeah, 4,000 cloth fragments now. About 
3,500 of which came from that PY I was just in. So that's pretty good. That's, you know, 400 duct tapes worth or 400 bandages. Can't go wrong with that. Craft some more water here. I'll need more fuel. And take all this meat out. The forge, take the bellows and the anvil and some fuel. And that, melt that down. Go. Place a box like there, and I'll just have this be my cloth and leather box because I'm so incredibly cloth wealthy now. Alright, so I will sit here during the night. How many pipe bombs do I have, by the way? 20 plus a little bit more. So that'll be enough for day 14 horde, hopefully, anyway. Yeah, I've got 40. 20 in here as well. So good amount of those, so I shouldn't have to worry. So during the night, I will just sort of wait for morning because going out is still a little bit dangerous. Petals are very scary, and I wouldn't want to get hit in the back of the head by one or get caught by a wandering horde out there. Let me drink some water really quickly. In the morning, we'll go back out and kill things. Loot buildings. Okay, so it is the next day. There is a dog over there that I will have to deal with in a moment. Uh, we're back here in the little town area because I want to take on the pawn shop. Now, I don't think I've done that in Alpha 21 since they changed it, so this could be pretty interesting. Apparently it's crowded down here. So where do we start? Not in the actual pawn shop. Do we start in the salon? Sure looks like it. Let's see who we can kill. See books, that's a good sign. Are they still hiding zombies behind those mirrors? Doesn't look like it. Uh Gravedigger mod, cool. Who else is in here? Pissed off someone on the other side of the building, it sounds like. Oh, I got a toilet pistol, nice. I can actually use my nine mil now. Okay. He got a bloody cheap shot. Eat some meat here because I am hungry and I could use the healing anyway. I am not falling down there, that is stupid. Let's go break down a door. 5,000 health, jeez. Let's find a weak point. Ah, this'll work. Ah, but does it lead somewhere useful? Seems like it doesn't. Hey, a tool's digest. And that's where the ceiling caves in. This seems still like a lot safer than having to blast my way through that wall. See somebody hiding back there. Is there a key? Oh, there could be a dog in here. That would suck. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to hit him and run away because I can't afford to let him hit me. Oh, off he goes. To be annoying somewhere else. Get him caught in the doorway a little bit. That's right, follow me outside. That also works. Armoured up. You're telling me there's no buttons in here? Why the damn hell not? Oh, this place is good for electricals. Good to know. Where are all the zombies hiding? Is it behind all these locked doors? This is all extremely suspicious. There's the end loot. So we have to go up. Okay. So how many zombies am I going to have to kill out of stealth? Because of the weird way it wants to do this. This fucking thing is going to make me fall into... A room, isn't it? I'm just not going to do that. Simply refuse. Let's see, what's the weakest point of this? 3,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. Hmm, where's that door actually lead? Ah, behind extra thick walls. Love that. So what I'm assuming is going to happen here is zombies are in these little rooms. And as you fall into this room here, you have to open that up and it'll open up all the other doors and they'll come running out at you which is horse shit, so I'm gonna try and do something a little bit different. Let's see, is there an easier site to do this from? Not really, let's do this door then. See, this is another POI the fun pimps cooked up at their asshole school of level design. You can either bash down a door or you can go on a suicide mission. Which would you like? Oh, hello, Feral. Run away! Run away! Run away! Hi there. Ooh. And a cop, really? He's gonna pop. I'm gonna go run outside now. <laughs> pop out the window. Or not the window, the thing I made. There we go. Cop pop destroyed some of the loot, but what do you expect, really? Right, let's get the end loot. What an absolute kidney stone of a POI this is. Tools Digest, Sniper, some good armor that I can mod and sell with mods on it. D24 plus 67, of course naturally equals 700 as we know shotgun weekly nice i was actually looking for some of those i'm only able to make pipe shotguns but hey it's progress uh, shotgun parts 
again, that'll be more useful later. Uh, sham. Wiring, electrical traps, a couple of mildly useful things. More damn clothes racks, as if I didn't have enough cloth already, but hey, I might run out, you never know. Right, let's hope that was all the last of the actual zombies in here. Wait, so these areas don't even have zombies in them. Does it just spawn guys behind you then? Fucked by this safe. The Ketters, Lucky Looter, find more dukes, nice. Better bone knife, but I have an iron hunting knife, so it should be good. Some 9mm and some sledgehammer and club parts. Shotgun parts and a mod. Let's put another point into shotguns here. A first mod. I can also put that on guns if I want the guns to sell for more. But uh, if I had a good gun right now, I'd not be selling it anyway. Maybe if I found like a level 6 hunting rifle, I would mod that. But the problem is, is I can't even put a burst mod on that, so... Bunch of safes in here. Are any of them actually good? Uh, this one is. Really? You put four safes in here? Is that... No, wait, is that five? Oh, perspective is killing me. Yeah, four safes and one of them's real. Wow. Can you even open a safe with a lockpick? Is that a thing? I don't really know much about lockpicking. I'm just noticing a distinct lack of hole to put it in. <laughs> Oh, a rad remover. That's pretty good. I'll put that on my uh, gun here. Now, this is on burst mode now, I should remember that, but I shouldn't really be full autoing this anyway because the accuracy pretty much works like first shot is roughly on target, second shot's a bit wild, the third shot might as well be ricocheting into your leg. Oh, three lockpicks. Uh, is that all that's in here? Okay. Any extra loot hiding up in this uh, area? Maybe this is where the zombies sit. Up here, but I came up here and I didn't see them, so that seems unlikely. Halo books. Uh, shotgun, Messiah 7, targets at full health, take 20% more damage. Uh, batter up that I can sell. Shotguns again. I can make a level 1 double barrel shotgun, but I don't know if that's strictly worth the materials to actually do. Another engine. I'm gonna go put some stuff on my bike, but I might need to make multiple trips out of this POI, because it is filled with stuff. Alright, I've looted this place of pretty much everything I think is of value. Let's head back to my base, drop off some stuff, and then see if we can find another place to loot today. I'm interested in finding more gun-related POIs because I now have a very good chance of actually getting gun magazines and that would be quite helpful. Well, I missed another bloody ATM here. The $3 store has one. I mean, I won't complain, I still need money. This is a tier 3 as well. This might be worth something, but I don't know if you'll find guns in here. I know this game's set in America, but I don't know if the, uh, the equivalent of a dollar store is going to have many guns for sale. Uh, let's see, 2,000 dukes worth, let's see. Can we see anything inside? More cloth if I need it, I suppose. Um, there, uh, Fucking hell, there, there is actually a gun rack back there. <laughs> but it's empty. I'm more interested in seeing the end loot, though, because that's where you can see the actual crates, which are where the best stuff is. Uh, let's see if there's any other windows. Yeah, no other windows that were particularly useful to me. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep looking. I could pillar onto the roof of this passing gas. I don't have to kill everything, so there's not exactly the most reason to kill everything, you know? Although I think there's books in the lobby of this one. So I might do it anyway. What does the end loot have? Art of mining I already know, and some ammo and meds. I mean, it took me two seconds to get it, so I'm not going to complain. Some books, medical journal, let's fight these guys. More books. Magnum Enforcer, Craft AP44, and a Shotgun Weekly. Nice. We clear? I think I'm clear. So this has a bunch of passing gas containers, which kind of are what I'm looking for. If you remember, I am also looking for vehicle magazines, but yeah, realistically, they're just going to give me tools to digest. Scrapping, okay. I do have a point in that, so that does make sense, actually. Vending machine. Now, I think there's actually more zombies hiding in the back. Is there not a crate in here? Yeah, the shamway crate. Uh, chicken soup. And there's usually another one here as well, yeah. Home cooking weekly and some sham. Uh, more books here. Beer Hunter, sell it. Retracting Stock Mod, also sell. Any more books? Here's another set of them. One Vehicle Adventures and a book I can sell. There's a lot of useful loot in here still, but I'm not going to use my time on it. 
looking for shotgun focused loot. I could pillar up to the roof of the popping pills. It would probably have lab loot, but it's also very easy to get to, so it might be worth it. I think that's an abandoned shotgun messiah factory over there, but I don't think it's as good as you would imagine because I think it's a tier zero, so it won't have much in it. Uh, okay, like, let's pillar up to the roof. Oh, did I go to the exact wrong one? Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, the, the exact wrong side, anyway. There's a mutated zombie up here, but I can probably take him. Ooh, a feral light, though. Jeez. Oh, it's a feral mutated zombie as well. It's not even a normal one. Well, I love that for me. Let's hope he staggers. There we go. Feral light. You're also really dangerous. I shouldn't be doing this, but whatever. Knocked down already! Oh, god damn, I'm gonna shoot him. There, he fell off the roof at least, it's something. Eat that first aid bandage. Oh, hi. Right, so I probably have time to get up here, steal the loot and leave before that hatch breaks. So let's do that. And remember kids, don't do this on multiplayer servers because people will hate you. Also, they broke through already. Hate that for me, but I think they're stuck on something. So probably get away with this still. It's also a good POI to actually loot because it does have a lot of meds in it, but I don't need those right now, so. Oh, come on, open. Seriously, six lockpicks. Fucking thing. Pills Digest and a double armor pocket mod. And a treasure map, which might be useful. Some meds. Some more meds. Bar brawler. Eh. Grab these medical supplies. And let's get over here. They'll never catch me. So where was that shotgun messiah place I saw? Over here? Have I looted these? Yes. Yeah, here it is. Ransack shotgun messiah. I really wouldn't expect anything good in here, but it might be worth a quick run through. Anyone home? Anyone hiding in the back? Not here anyway. What about over here? Bathrooms? Nope. Anyone in here? Working food vending machine. Let's see, what do we have? Yeah, nothing particularly good. And some armor. I could definitely sell that at least. Shotgun shells in the desk. Let's check upstairs. Working water vending machine in here. This would be a nice base. Gun safe, hello. Might get a book out of this. Uh, shotgun, uh, shotgun weekly, sorry. Another pipe machine gun. These are static, so you don't have to really worry about the damage. Um, and some club parts. Wouldn't call that a bad bit of loot, but nothing crazy. What about back here? Anybody staying up here? Surely there's one shotgun crate on the roof for those of us brave enough to venture this far. There's a hatch here. Hey, there's one. I'm expecting at least one more zombie as well, though. No, nope, nobody's here. Cool. Polymer string mod. I've got one on my bow already, so I'll just scrap that for polymers. Demolitions and a tempered blade mod. Okay. Well, I mean, I did find a shotgun magazine in here. I can't complain too much. Let's keep looking for anything that could be useful. I searched that mailbox. I haven't. Those digest. I make steel tools quality five. That might be worth diverting my attention to. Now, there is this place which has very easily cheesable loot. Let me run past this guy real quick. Have I not got any water on me? That's a pain in the ass. Bet there's shotgun crates in there though. Hmm. Isn't this a tier four? No, it's still tier three. I don't feel like doing the whole thing though, so let's see what we can do here. But onto this. Anybody wanna come and fight me? Hello, hello dog. There's a snake somewhere. There he is. Hold still. Right, so for the end loot, it's just in this room next to me, but I want to give myself a little escape route because it does just swarm you with zombies as it usually does anyway. So open this up. Now, I don't remember if they come straight away, but I'm getting ready. Oh, hello. You can see them up there. That means if you had a creative grenade, you could definitely use that to your advantage. Let's try and drag them out. Ow. Oh, watch that biker. Whoa, he'll do a lot of damage if I let him hit me. <laughs> well, that's just all the zombies in the world. You'll love to see it. Let me climb up here real quick. I'm going to first aid kit. If I get hit, I will just shrug it off. Oh, hello, Arlene. Shit, run away. Didn't think about my stamina penalty. There we go. Oh, she's feral. No fair. Oh, hello, Baker. Yeah, that's right, you get stuck on that for a couple of seconds while I do this. Eat the shit out of him. Don't let him get up. There we go. See if we get anything good for that. Ah, nice guy. 
Don't plan on making a knife, but it's nice to see it. Knife to see it, ha ha ha. Weapons bag, big hitters, I'll take that. Gym meds, I'll bash open these. No shotgun crates, unfortunately. Handguns, wood splitter, two electrical traps, tech planet, and a tech junkie that I didn't mean to actually read. And food, and let's unlock the reinforced chest. Tools, tech, flashlight, pipe rifle, meds, and ammo. Can make a level one auger now if I wanted to. Now, I wonder, did I clear that Moe's grocery over there? I know I hopped in to get the Forger head book, but there is also pretty easy end loot there, which could give me a shotgun box, which would maybe give me a skill book. You'll notice a lot of maybes in that sentence. Welcome to Alpha 21. I am quite over-encumbered. This is very dangerous. I have been here, okay. Right, well, let's take some of my stuff back to my base, because I am very much over-encumbered. There was a wandering horde. I am going to ignore it. Right, well, if I want to make a steel pickaxe, I would need 50 forged steel. I don't have a crucible, obviously, but do I have that amount of forged steel lying around? If not, I do have a wrench, but I would rather not wrench, if it was possible. I forge steel. Yeah, it seems like I don't. Give me my wrenches. Multiple, because I would like to avoid wasting repair kits if at all possible. Uh, I also need to drink something. I have loads of water, so that's fine. I'm going to sell some things, and then I'm going to see how much steel I can wrench. I only need 50, which isn't too hard to salvage. Looks like I probably won't get it done today, actually, but we can definitely get that done at the start of the next episode. Um, again, I can't really go out at night because a feral is a bit too dangerous right now. And I don't have time to record into the night either. Hey, Joel. Right, there's 8k jukes. Got anything good he's got? He does have enough steel, but that is so wasteful, but it's also a lot faster. This is... An unintelligent decision. I should probably get some sugar buzz if I am going to do it. He's not selling any. I think awesome sauce helps, right? Let's see. Uh, 1,500 for a 20% discount. Let's see. 7,200. I don't think it would save me any money. Well, if I want it quickly, I should do it. And it would be good for the video. So let's do it. <laughs> let's make the game even harder. Now, let's see. Here's something I want to check. So it's 6,750 divided by 45. So each one is 150. If I buy them individually, are they actually 150? They are, okay. You gotta watch them for that. Because some things are just like that. <laughs> so there we go. Wasted a bunch of money, but also steel pick. Very, very helpful. Especially this early on. I'll be able to gather up a lot of materials for gunpowder, for example. With my eight ranks of various mining perks, it does make sense to invest in it. And I actually do have some more money. I don't think I sold them all my cash there, so, like, I do have more dukes. Uh, let's see, the rest of the steel pick is pretty easy. Let me find the stuff. Uh, steel tool parts. Leather. I put that in a separate box, but I might run across some. There we go. And 15 duct tape. That might be the hardest part of all of this. <laughs> Let's see, there's a bunch of cloth. I've got more stuff I can sell. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine on money. Um, glue. I know I picked up a lot of glue, but wh which container has it gone to? Might be just about time to start making an actual storage system. Oh, there we go, 15 glue, perfect. Turn that into duct tape. That'll take 40 seconds. Split that in half. Oh, I threw away my leather, apparently. There we go. Anything in the bicycle? Ah, a couple things. And more shit I could have sold. Okay, there we go. Let's craft steel pick. That'll take two minutes, but that's fine. Do I have mods for that? Because that's going to require four. Um, could sell that iron pick later. Let's see what mods I have. Fortifying grip mod would certainly work, but do I have a bunker buster on anything? Hmm, can I make bunker busters? No. Well, that's something I definitely want. Where did I put that structural brace mod anyway? Did it go on... Didn't it go on my hammer? Did it disappear? I think the hammer ate the mod, which is concerning. But maybe it just ended up in a storage container somewhere. Oh, did I put it on the... Yeah, I put it on the shovel. That makes sense. There, so there is four mods. Are these two exclusive? No, they're not. Cool. So my pickaxe will now be really good. Which will help when you get those POIs where you have to bash down a door and I'm on 50% block damage. How am I doing on the double barrel shotgun, by the way? Only level one? I'll hold off on that. Although it would be pretty cheap as well. One shotgun part, ten... Yeah, you know what? I might do that, just to get something better than, like, a pipe shotgun. But I will probably make, like, a level five at some stage. Or I'll just wait for... What is it called? A pump action. 
Um, I'll maybe need that mod. Polymers. Why do you need polymers in, like, a farmer shotgun with the battle sawn off? It's so weird. Springs. And two duct tape and a shotgun part. Uh, I might actually have to make new glue. Hang on, where's my bones? Give this some fuel. Oh, I need to pick up the water, of course. That'll do. The question is, is do I even have any shotguns? Uh, shotgun shells. 60. Oh yeah, I've got just under a stack of them. Like that too, duct tape. Normally I wouldn't get such a shitty upgrade so quickly, but when you're dealing with a usual type shotgun, it does kind of make sense to actually upgrade to just a regular double barrel. Even if it is just level 1, it will make much better use of your shotgun shells than type shotgun would. That is, if you're not a double barrel shotgun hater, people are objectively wrong, by the way. Is that pick done? Oh yeah, I already took it out there. Um, these four mods, so that will now do a decent amount of damage. That's made of wood, let me find some stone. 250 in a bit, 254. It's pretty good. That'll get through a 5,000 health door in 20 hits, which could be done pretty quickly. And I also now have a pistol, like a proper one. So I can probably get rid of the pipe machine gun because it's not my favourite weapon ever. It's good, but I would swap it for pretty much any tier 1 other than the hunting rifle. Where did I put the damn pistol? There we go. So I can have a little second area there as well. Where's my 9 mil? I have a bunch of it. Which is quite convenient. Here we go. Double battle shotgun. Oh, didn't mean to drop it on the floor. This can only have like two mods. Let's go for a rad remover and flashlight. The duck bill is a bit situational, so I'll just hold on to that. That'll do. You can put the burst mod on the pistol. It really doesn't affect much, but you know, something. It's better position my firearms here. Here we go. So now. That flashlight's really weird. I'll be able to see at least. So yeah, this shotgun is kind of not amazing by any means, but it's also very cheap to make. Uh, and it does... well, kind of have to compare it unmodded. 9 damage from that versus 11 damage from this. But you get two shots with this, which is massively helpful. And I can put two mods on it. So we got a double barrel shotgun, we got pistol, and we got the steel pick, which is going to be very helpful. Tomorrow we'll continue my quest to get more magazines of this uh, kind of thing. Maybe getting up to 27 and getting a level 1 pump action shotgun would be nice. And then also getting enough vehicle stuff to get up to mini bikes. Obviously we got one because that whole loot table is devoured by harvesting tools and it'll just have to wait till that is ripped out of the loot table to really do anything. Now that I've got three ranks of shotguns though, I will start leveling intellect and getting ready to put points in Grease Monkey, but it's a kind of a waste as long as we have that many points in Minor 69er and that many books still to find. So we will continue this in the next episode. There will obviously be a Horde Knight, and I'll be much more prepared for it this time, although I still don't feel like wasting all of my shotgun ammo, so I'll probably do some pipe bomb stuff. Hope you're still enjoying the series, and in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.